It's a good morning on the day six or on number six, day 14. Well, it's a morning. That's one thing I'll say. Pain. Lots of pain. Could not sleep last night. Tried two different beds and a recliner. I never would sleep more than 45 minutes until I did the last bed. And I think I got about an hour and a half in it. I don't know if I've just overworked myself or what, but uh, it ain't feeling good, I know that. Back, legs, I don't know if it's just me going downhill more or I say I'm overworking myself. But we are on our way to the dentist, about an hour's drive to get there. Uh, and see, they tried to get a procedure for Doretta. It was not approved by her insurance. So I don't know exactly what they'll wind up being able to do, if anything. But we're going. And they're supposed to pull one of mine and patch one. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Well, you can see it, but I want you to look how Look how that fog's laying in there. Boy, that a beautiful sight. Person don't feel good. And they see something like that, it just makes it all better. Look here. Coming out laying across the road real lightly. Oh, I love nature. 47 minutes later. We're at the dentist office outside, just pulled in. Wow, we go a long ways to the dentist. But at least it didn't take quite as long as I thought it would. Uh, gonna try, there's something, if we get out of here in time, I'm gonna try to uh, go to a little old spot just around the corner here. I don't know if it will be open, but we'll record a few items outside. They have a railroad museum for the CNO BNO Railroad. Um, I'm gonna try to walk around at least show you a couple of things outside. Hopefully we'll have time and we'll be able to go inside. We'll see. Well <laughs> We went in and they had to re we had to redo our paperwork. They've changed the forms that they have to have. These insurances just keep changing every time you turn around, making it harder on the patients, making it harder on the doctor's offices, just making it harder on everybody all the way around. Um, as for me, I guess I've just overdone it the last three or four days, well, some Monday, Tuesday. And I guess to, yeah, Monday and Tuesday have way overdone it. I hear the train in the background. Oh, I love that sound. I love the old steam engine whistles. Uh, really hope to get to take you to the train museum. It's an amazing place, I think. Well, the tooth is gone. And Dennis did wonderful. Very good. Got all of the tooth out that nobody's ever got out like that before. He's a good. There's my dentist. He just took that tooth out. He did good. Dr. Jacob Justice. Thank you. He did good, man. He did good. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to walk around the museum a little bit. Might be a little funny talking where I had the tooth took out. I'm going to walk back here and then walk my way forward and just show a little bit of the stuff that is around here and there. Um, they are closed, so we won't be able to get inside. 
but hey, that's all right. I don't know exactly what all we'll be able to look at. Okay, this I guess is an old trolley car. Looks like <sighs> just some of the things that they used to use. Can't get inside the caboose. I'm not gonna climb up there, but old caboose from the chassis system, C and O, ladder C and O. Uh, motorized newer vehicles, just service vehicles, transporters. That is the coal stove that they used to keep inside the caboose to keep the men warm. And just a few hours in here. Now, this is the old wooden caboose that would have been the old CNO or BNO, one of the two. Now the transport, there's not a whole lot to look at out here. I don't see an old garbage can. It's a derailer. Flip that yellow part up against the rail. And if a train comes to it, it'll kick it off the rails so it won't be a runaway. Then a switch signal. Low switch signal. Right here is a high switch signal. And here's one more little piece of, they have no idea what it does. Got a motor, that's all I know. Might be grinders or something for grinding tops of the rails to smooth them out if they've had a burnout on them or something. All right, that's the best I can do on that. It's freezing out here. Okay, to the post office we go. Again, yeah, at least three times a week, sometimes more. But uh, it's all right. I'll show you if we get a stack of stuff. <laughs> well, that's all we got today. It's the least I ever remember getting. <laughs> I think we're gonna go home and wait on the girls, and then go get my medicine. Antibiotics where I've got my tooth pulled. Two toothers pulled. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here. And um we'll see y'all in tomorrow's video or in tomorrow's vlog. Uh hope y'all have a wonderful night. And God bless.